Since 1920, scientists have known that subatomical particles present in our part of the universe may in the very next moment appear in another, far distant part of the universe, and in between the two locations they seem to flip out of existence. This was the birth of the quantum theory. To further explore the weirdness of quantum mechanics, let us fire in particles larger than atoms, for example tomatoes, through two slits. We will see two distinct bands appear on the screen, which agree well with our expectation of the experimental outcome. If we change from firing particles larger than atoms to particles smaller than atoms, like electrons, we will see a large amount of bands appear on the screen which I assume is a very different outcome than the one you expected it to be. Scientists found that the behavior of electrons agree with the pattern observed when waves of water was passed through the slits. The two slits will divide the wave into two waves that interfere with each other on their way to the screen creating a pattern of multiple bands. An interpretation of the finding would be that an electron leaves as a single particle divide itself into two, passing through both slits and interfere with itself to produce the interference pattern on the screen. Scientists tried to further explore the phenomenon by observing the electron to see which slit it actually went through, but the quantum world is far more mysterious than they could imagine. When electrons were observed they behaved like single particles producing two bands on the screen instead of the expected interference pattern. The conclusion is that an electron exists only as a wave of potentials, and in the view of an observer it collapses into a particle with a defined location. The question is, can we really say that everything around us just appears in front of our eyes as a result of us observing it? Take for example a red stone on a beach. It is not likely that it will disappear if we look away for a moment, even though the probability is high that some of the many billions of subatomical particles building up the stone will move to another part of the universe in the same moment as we look away. The probability is still that the majority of the subatomical particles will remain in the same position. However, a problem is that Newtonian laws cannot explain the wave of potentials inherited in some atomical particles because the law is just an approximation of the reality, assuming that everything in the universe is predefined by strict laws and can be predicted by equations. In an attempt to explain the wave of potentials, the many worlds theory was born which proclaims that the very act of observing do not collapse the wave function into particles. Instead it says that every conscious observation or decision will divide the world into an infinite number of worlds, with different outcomes within the probability of the wave function. The theory is breathtaking because the conclusion would be that in one world Michael Jackson is still alive, and in one world you when never born. Another explanation to the collapse of the wave function is the conscious mind theory, where the collapse of the wave into a particle is a direct result of a conscious observation or decision and will only result in a single outcome for the universe. However, the theory assumes a conscious mind governed by other physical laws than the immediate surrounding, otherwise the wave function in the previous experiment would have collapsed without the influence of an observer. In the next episode I will provide you with a possible explanation to a conscious mind based on the leading theory amongst today's scientists regarding the fabric of cosmos called the string theory.